Developing now on Action News 6, we're monitoring the health of little Damien Sutton, the two-year-old on life support after being brutally beaten. And new developments in a case that's gone cold. A high school football star gunned down right here on Detroit's west side. Two years later, his family searches for clues to this unsolved crime. Plus, new at 6, a Detroit charter bus wrecks in D.C. on its way to the 50th anniversary march on Washington. And tonight, how you can help prevent carjackings in Detroit. Plus, sunshine across Metro Detroit, starlit skies tonight, and how long this heat will stick around in your 7 First Alert forecast. You're watching 7 Action News, always taking action for you. First at 6, hope for Damien, the little boy still clinging to life. After police say he was shaken and thrown by a man that was supposed to be caring for him. At this hour, he remains in a medically induced coma. 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl joins us live outside Children's Hospital. Ronnie, how's he doing? Well, we just spoke with his parents a short time ago. He is still in critical condition, and we're told that he had a pretty rough night. But over the last hour or two, he is showing signs of improvement. What the doctors are so concerned about is the swelling on his brain. And while they fight to save his life, his family and his friends are continuing their around-the-clock vigil here at the hospital. He is the little boy with big blue eyes so many people are praying for. I need you all to pray for him right now during this time. He's struggling and trying so hard to fight for his life. He's a fighter at two years old. He's, he's doing really good for all the things he's going through right now and definitely making his dad happy and proud. Two-year-old Damian Sutton has been in a medically induced coma after being severely beaten. His mother's boyfriend, Ronald Anthony DiMambro, is the man authorities say caused the toddler's injuries. 26-year-old is charged with first-degree child abuse, and little Damian is fighting for his life. His parents hoped swelling on his brain would have improved more. All they can do now is continue to wait and let his body heal. There's a chance he could be brain dead. Um, I don't want to believe it yet, and I'll believe. I know he's got brain damage, but I can settle with the brain damage instead of being brain dead. Mm -hmm. um, we just got to worry about that swelling. Keep it down and everything where it's at right now. It's doing good, and that gives us, of course, a lot more hope. Oh, and they are continuing to hope. Such a heartbreaking story. Damien's dad tells us it could be up to a week before doctors know just how severe Damien's injuries really are. For now, we are live outside Children's Hospital. Dave Kim, back to you. All right, Ronnie, thank you for the live report. Friends of little Damien's family are inviting you to join them for a benefit dinner. It will be at the Alibi Bar on Nine Mile near Van Dyke and Warren. It starts at 7 o'clock. Money raised will help pay for Damien's medical bills. New tonight at 6, Detroit police are investigating a fatal shooting on the city's east side. Witnesses say a man and woman were fighting at Mount Elliott and Hilldale. During the argument, another man showed up. The two chased the aggressor down and shot the 46-year-old. Police arrested the 34-year-old woman. If you know anything about this shooting, give Detroit investigators a call. You're being called to action to help stop crimes that terrorize people just driving through Detroit. We're talking about carjackings. Detroit police are teaming up with the group Help Eliminate Auto Theft or HEAT. They need volunteers to meet at the Chosen Generation Community Center on Monday. They will hit the street to raise awareness about what police call the Heat Wave Initiative. The message, if you have information about car thieves, call 1-800-242-HEAT. It could earn you a $2,000 reward. And check this out. Everyone on the city's east side is talking about this stray cat. It's been roaming the area of Alcoy and Bringard. An expert tells 7 Action News the cat is a savanna, which is part wild African cat and part house cat. It's huge, standing about knee high. Some people are afraid of the cat, but so far it hasn't hurt anyone. An animal rescue group tells 7 Action News it's going to try to trap it and take it to a rescue. A beautiful day outside. Right now, things are rocking at Summerfest in downtown Detroit. Tonight's your last chance to get in on the fun. Great food, music, and lots of activities happening at Campus Marshes, Capitol Park, Paradise Valley, and Grand Circus Park. Things wrap up tonight at 10. Now it looks like the weather's cooperating, no doubt about it. Absolutely, Dave. We have sunshine out there, just a few passing clouds, but the important thing is 
will stay dry through the evening and into the overnight hours. Our temperatures have been wonderful, almost average, just one degree shy of our average. We average 81 this time in August. 80 has been the high so far. 95 degrees is the record that was set back in 1948. We started at 60 this morning. 62 is average, and you see that record low of 43 set back in 1971. And here's where we are right now. Temperatures again very comfortable. Full sunshine in Ann Arbor. 78 degrees. 78 degrees downtown. 79 right now in Pontiac. 77 degrees Port Huron. Little in the way of cloud covers we head into tonight. All that cloud cover will stay to the north. I do think we'll see a little bit tomorrow afternoon, but again, staying dry through the remainder of the weekend. Temperatures will fall into the mid 60s after midnight. Low 60s to around 60 for a low at Metro. 50s elsewhere. And then the heat is on. A little warmer tomorrow. Warmer yet next week. I'll have more on your full forecast ahead.